Welcome back to my channel. So you're watching part six of a series of SPSS tutorials for beginners. And in this video, we will be talking about logistic regression modeling. So let's get started. So logistic regression is a type of model that you use when you have a binary outcome. So this means an outcome that has either a yes or a no endpoint. So in my example today, we're looking at surgical complications and patients either had one or they did not. So if you have an outcome that has more categories, this is not a useful model and it's good to realize that. So now let's take a look at SPSS. So if you want to perform a logistic regression model, you go to the analyze tab, then go to regression and click the binary logistic regression. And here in the dependent variable tab, you need to enter the outcome that you're interested in, which is in this case, surgical complications. Then here you can enter the covariates. And let's start with the univariate analysis. So using only one covariate here. So let's investigate whether the age of a patient is associated with the risk of having a surgical complication. Importantly, age is here defined in groups. So by groups of five years together. And that means that we need to uh, define uh, this variable as a categorical variable. And you do this by clicking on the categorical variable tab. You add here age to the categorical variables and never forget to change the reference category to the first one. This usually makes more sense because here we want to look at the increase of age compared to the youngest patients and you almost never do it the other way around. So click here on first then change and here you can see that first now pops up here. We click continue then we look at the options tab and never forget to click here the confidence interval because that is something that you will want to report in your output. So for now we will not use a selection variable but you could use this if you want to look at subgroups. So let's say you would want to look at age in association with complications within the group of patients with comorbidity. You could then uh, enter here comorbidity as a selection variable. But for now, we will not do this. As I've mentioned before, I always recommend not to simply press OK. You could do this. You would immediately get the output, but you have not saved what you did. So for that reason, I always recommend to click paste and a new syntax uh, screen will pop up and here you can uh, save the things you did. I always like to uh, type here a bit and show what I did. So now I will say uh, logistic regression univariate analysis for age. And by entering a small asterisk here, it will now become gray and it will not actually run as a syntax. So that makes it easy to uh, select and press play. So that's what I will do. I will select this. I will press play here. And here we will see the output. Let me walk you through it. So scroll all, the, all down below because that's the output that you're actually in, interested in. So here you can see that the youngest age category is the reference because there's no odds ratio here. And these are the odds ratios that you're actually interested in. You can see that with increasing age, basically the risk of a complication increases. And this is also statistically significant because the overall p-value, as you can see here, is smaller than 0.05. And this is what you would report in a paper or in a table that you want to put out there. So this is the output that you're interested in. So now let's say that we want to adjust for confounding factors, which I've also talked about in previous videos. We can simply go back to the screen uh, that we were just in by clicking in the syntax file here, this uh, small button. Or you could go again to analyze regression and then binary logistic regression. And you can see that the, uh, the input that we gave SPSS is still in there, that, which makes it easy. So one way to do this is to simply add confounding factors. So let's say that with age, the risk of polypharmacy also increases and the risk of comorbidity as well. So these could be confounding factors here. Um, and we could enter these two as covariates here. Again, don't forget to uh, define them as categorical variables because they both are. We will drag them here and we will change the reference category again to first. We can then press paste again. And here you can see that the syntax is now turned a bit longer. And I will type multi 
multifarad model with polypharmacy H and comorbidity. And again, I will run it. And the output also becomes a bit larger now. And here you can see that the uh, odds ratios that we just saw for H have now turned a little bit smaller. We could now report it as such as that we say um, H, uh, the, the odds ratios for H which were adjusted for polypharmacy and comorbidity, or you could even show the whole model with all the odds ratios for the different uh, variables in your, uh, in your paper. Both are fine ways to do this. Um, and this is the output that you will actually need. And if you want to further extend your analysis with larger models, you can enter as much covariates in there as you want, basically. But keep thinking about the power of your analysis. So this means that if you don't have so many subjects in your data set, it's not very smart to uh, include, for example, 20 covariates in your model. Because with every covariate that you enter, the power of your analysis becomes a little bit smaller. So this is something you need to think about before you start your analysis and make your analysis plan. So there you go. I've given you a first introduction in how you can perform logistic regression in SPSS. I really hope this was helpful. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Enter them down below in the comment box. And I look forward to see you next time.